Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in the 100 baby challenge and don't you just love when your toddlers kind of tea pose in sync and one of them's partially a couch because I know that's how I like to start my day but um anyway we'll see what happens. Are they frozen for good? Because I've unpaused it. There we go one of them's eating one of them's still part of a couch but she's playing with blocks so that's allowed. We'll, we'll accept that. Um, oh, I'm up on the floor. There we go. And mummy is sleeping. My actual image in the cat is also sleeping right now. She is on the bed adjacent to me. Um, and we have baby Grady from last episode. I had to check his name because I couldn't remember <laughs> what it was, which is quite bad. Um, we're only 2,000 simoleons away from our goal of moving, so hoping to get that done this episode shouldn't be too difficult i don't think have you finished eating um yeah near enough hey so there we go slightly broken just then that was interesting is there anything in the fridge that i can sell this has four left no okay so that's fine uh someone needs to do some cooking for sure when they get home and I can't really do anything <laughs> until all my sims that are active come home. Oh, okay, well, we can do that. Cancel and responsibility time. Uh, discipline, firm, tell not to splash in the toilet. So we'll just send you back to sleep. Those two are... Uh, Car invited home Erica. That's nice. At least I've got these guys back. Uh, Brad's returned home with school project. He's still a B student, her responsibilities in range, she has a project and her grades are up. And he's come home and his grades are up. So he is a B student. Or, or am I checking? Pressing all the wrong buttons. So yeah, he's a B student. She's an A student, so we can age her up. And he's a B student. So let us age her up straight away. And she has a friend. That's nice. But we'll let Denzel chill with her then. So you're gonna go make me a cake. Cause you're feeling all happy and energized you would like to come over and hang out yeah you can you can come over it is actually your little sister's birthday why can i not add candles who is trying to take cake why is it being annoying and not working then okay oh yeah that's apparently the center time for you to blow out the candles little miss and then we'll do a quick makeover and look it's your brother yay you can give him a hug afterwards uh, you can invite him in. Uh, try to calm down. Always oh, having a bad day. Oh. Woo! Uh, oh, I need to get the random generator thing open. Apparently you can give them a career with the generated thing as well, which is quite interesting. I've never seen that before, so the career would be manual labour if I were to give her one. Best-selling author and cat lover. How nice. So let's go back. You are a cat lover and a best-selling author, which is in this one. There we go. Nice! <laughs> and Anton is destroying my bin. Not cool, bro. Not cool. I'm gonna have to give you a makeover. Very interesting look. You actually look very like your father facially. She looks very like Marcus, which is quite interesting. <laughs> but I also need you in fact, you can go be useful and fish. Off you go. And you can come collect some things for me. You're cleaning up. I'll let you finish that first because <laughs> that is very useful to me. And clean. Okay, so you can come and dig this. And I know this bit's not very exciting, but it's very useful. Oh, there's another one there. And take that. Um, nothing along here. Oh, Humor and Hijinks Festival. How interesting. And get another frog. Oh, we can breed frogs as well. I've just remembered that. In everyone's inventory. Or inventory. However you want to pronounce it. Um... Yep, okay, so he's got level whatever. Um, sell that. Thank you. 
Got a frog. Um, let's breed these frogs. I'm gonna have to maybe just sort the baby out because he hasn't cried and that makes me think he might just be broken. And I don't want him taken away just because he's broken. I'll put them back with you. Hey, look, Eric aged up. How convenient that her friend is now the appropriate age. <laughs> it's probably gonna be sad that no one celebrated though. Um, what are your skills? Oh, you got cooking, so we'll get you to do some cooking for me. Make some food for all of the children. You can make some pancakes for everyone and then something else. Why are you angry? Because you're hungry. So, open, put that on the floor. Go to town, kiddo. Are you hungry? Probably. No, you're tired, so you can go sleep. You are okay. You are okay. You will. You need to shower, so you can go do that. She quite the video gaming skill. Cool beans. Denzel caught a fish, and Brett got a cooking skill. What type of fish did you get? Probably not a great one. Got a five dollar minnow and a seven dollar whatever. I keep hearing noises, and it's freaking me out but there's nothing there, so it's just literally all in my head. What are the difference between these froggies? That one's common and the common. Okay, so we'll sell them. Goodbye, froggos. And we'll sell that. Oh, cross the legs for a second. Did they all, did I sell the other boards? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's good. And after you have done some beautiful singing, you can eat and then do projects and you can cancel that and um, come work on that carefully. Goodbye Erica, thanks for popping by. I don't need that much more in terms of stuff. You can um, pay the bills. After you have finished bathing. Uh, we got some toys, which uh, we're gonna sell. Sorry guys, I just have to pay bills, so the toys have gotta go. Do we get anything else in family inventory? We have a book which we can sell. What's that gone? Um, Sell this plate. Was that from you? It probably was. Off she goes to bed. What's that? Meanie, how dare they? Who do they think they are from being lectured? I don't know who lectured you, but you probably deserved it. Um Imogen's gonna sleep like all day. She needs to get up, she needs to go to the toilet, she needs to have a quick shower, which is not the fridge. There we go. And then eat. And you need to eat. How are you doing, bro? He's super focused. He's only halfway through it, though. Uh, so you can go use and eat. And then do your general homework, because that is more important. Um, ooh, he's having a bad day. And if you're just gonna sit there, you could do your general homework, please. Oh, we can sell your old homework as well. For one Smolian! Yeah! Every Smolian counts, though. I really wanna move! Cancel eating. <laughs> Let me sell your plate. Thank you! Oh yeah, someone needs to pick up the bin. I forgot. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Um... Are you awake enough to do your homework yet? No. You also need to pee once you've slept for a while. People are doing homework, people are napping and need to hurry up. Come on. He is gonna be okay to do his homework as well, so that's fine. The baby smells, she pooped herself. Great. So after we've eaten, we'll bathe her. Hurry up, don't you dare do dishes, child. Put them down. 
don't know why you're putting them down. Just put them down. Oh, that was weird. Are you okay, child? You bounced around the rooms a lot just then. Okay, 70 for that. Okay, and you need to give bath to that one who is crying. And hurry up. Okay, good, he's finished. Um, can you do your homework, please? Yes. Okay, good. Did I not give Grady the right last name? Possibly. I might have to fix that at some point. Um, and you, because there is a child in to look after the other children, um, what can you even do? What are you good at? Well, you need to find a man, so... We can go get Malcolm. This is the best introduction I can give him. What can I give him? Like the enchanting one. Uh, I could go flirty, but we'll just go for general. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, Hopper compliment. Get to know. Flatter. And then beguile him. Hey. <laughs> Oh. Bottom drop. Oh. He's a bro. Cool beans. Grebo for bay. <laughs> did that work? It did. Cool. Okay, so we're going to go into romantic and we're going to flirt with him. And compliment appearance. What else can we do? More choices. Pick up line. Those things are all quite easy and quite normal. Don't you run away! <laughs> you have a very it's intriguing fun. outfit choice, I have to say. Blue oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on. The baby's crying. <laughs> ah. It's okay, you can deal with it. You can bottle feed, change dirty diaper, and bounce. Thank you, child. Ziffle, Nabagazi. Ah, <laughs> and embrace. Oh. 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 Is it gonna work? Oh. It did. Uh. Try for a first kiss. Oh, dag, dag. Offer a rose. Kiss hands. Yay! Come on. A gun and glaive. Yaffa? Oh. Oh, yeah. hands. Shook your pose. Tempt to seduce. Then she Huh? <laughs> okay, and then if I ooh, let's add him to the group. Um, more choices, actions, add to group. Go over here. That's not my house. <laughs> Where's my house? There's my house. And she is currently there, so that's fine. You can actually nap whilst you're there, please. And then you two go here together. Do do I have enough space? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, cool. We have space for one more baby. Try for baby with Malcolm. Go! Do not eat my pancakes. Put them down. They are not for you. Go! It's almost Eva's birthday. Cool. That means one less toddler in the house. Okay. Pregnancy test. Come on. Stop taking my pancakes! Yay! We're eating for two. We did it, guys! How awake are you? Not very. You can eat them. And uh, we need to take a photo of this fellow. Huh? No boo? <laughs> new boo, yeah, that's a new boo. Um, oh, yeah. Take a photo yeah. of Malcolm. 
Yoink. Did she not finish her homework? Oops. Uh, I can't remember which orientation I do these in. So one, two, three, four, five. And normal, 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 and normal. At least those ones are high level. Uh, add frame and name. You are and grab. Come on, there we go. And I think that's meant to be a capital. There we go. Number eight. See, some of them are capitals and some of them aren't. So I'm gonna have to go fix that. But oh, whatever, we'll do that at another point and then I can sell the rest of these. There we go. Put the balls down a bit. And we need a little bit more money and then we can um, move house. Yay! Uh, gotta remember to pack up the plants, which, speaking of, we can go here and do uh, more choices. Can I sell everything? Off you go. We can do quick frog breeding as well. Cool beans. Oh, my foot's gone numb in the real world. Ow, ow. <laughs> Sorry for my agony noises. Uh, what do all these guys need before I move on? He needs fun and to eat, so stop. You need to eat. You just need fun. You just, you need hygiene. You are good. You are good. You are good. Everyone is good. How great, except for Mama. Could do with a quick shower. Okay, so you need to eat and watch the television at the same time. I need to go into the inventory, family inventory for a moment and put these plants in. Just so I don't forget them. And I'm gonna put the pictures from the wall, I think, in Imogen's inventory because I kind of don't want to lose them. I don't know if it's gonna like mess them up when we move house. So just put all these in. There we go. So that's all that done. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. And then when the kids go to school, we will move house, probably in the episode, and sell some plates. Ah. Do -do -do. Oh, Malcolm picked up my bin. What a dude. Thank you, Malcolm. Definitely got enough money to move, which is good. Um, is your fun not going up at all, dude? No, not really. Why are you not watching TV? You meant to do both at the same time. Multitasking is a thing, remember? No? Okay. Um, and you need to bathe this toddler because she smells. <laughs> That's all that she needs is to be bathed. So get out of bed. Off to school. Well done. Please work hard. Thank you. Off to school. Work hard. And you're just gonna have to go because you're being annoying. That's a phone call. Thank you. Go to school! Can you just put that in your inventory? Because I kind of didn't want you to do that. Put it there. And so. Thank you. And you also study hard. Okay, so we will wash this toddler. And then move house! Yeah! Ooh, you're also hungry and need to pee. Uh, let's actually potty train you first then. 
Potty train. Dance. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. But it's not time to dance, it's time to go potty. Come on. There we go. And you can eat when we move. Oh, damn it. Feed. Cuddle. <laughs> Up you get! It's Grady's birthday! Oh, almost. Oh, I got excited then. Come on! Come on! There you go. Imagination level 3! Way to go, kiddo! What else do you need? Potty is almost 3 and thinking. We can do when we move house. So, she got everything from the mailbox. Which is probably more toys. No? Did she get everything from the mailbox? I call for lies. Those were lies. Unless they went in here. Oh, they did. We got a plate. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so it's time to move house. Sorry, I know you want to go to bed. But it's time to move. Say goodbye to this little house, guys. We are moving up in the world. So, oops, this is our house at the moment. Just get it all up. Look, isn't it nice? It's a little A-frame type thing. And we've got a lot more land that we can expand upon and grow into. And if I go down, you can see that there's this room up here. So there's a bathroom space and there's like a bedroom space or office space, I don't really know. And then there's like four bedrooms down here and there's two bathrooms there and a bathroom there, which is more of like the, you know, everyone's bathroom. There's a mailbox in the middle of our hallway, so I'll move that. <laughs> I felt it could be the first thing to move. Here we go. Wow, you actually get money for the cobwebs. I didn't know that. I kind of want to keep one, which I know is really weird, but I just want to have my little spider friend appear every now and again because I like him. So. I'm going to make sure that's in the right place. Sucked is not going to attach to the ceiling very well, but it'll do. Or I could put him in there. We'll put him over here. There we go. You can live there, little spider friend, or I would miss you. Beautiful. Back into the game. Look at that. We have a new house. It's not the most amazing house, <laughs> but as you can see, we have a lot of land that we can expand into. We have really nice views and a really nice area. I need to fix that bit of dirt because it doesn't match, which is a bit weird and annoying. Um, and yeah, so everything else. And now we have a lot more space for expanding of the children's and stuff. I can eventually make things a bit more um, personalised, make it nicer, as I said, all that kind of stuff. Quickly going to send uh, herself to look after the baby because apparently baby didn't like the move very much or something I don't know we all get these guys to eat Ooh, no you can't get leftovers can you what am I on about I'm just being crazy put the pancakes out there you go grab a pancake and you go grab a pancake there we go and then as I was going to say Oh, I didn't fix this <laughs> I'll fix that in off camera I'll make that so they sit together properly with move objects and then I'm gonna get Imogen. I keep saying that and my cat's like, yes. <laughs> Cause she does know her name. To plan outfit. Oh no, we'll do change them because I don't know what the difference is. Oh, movement level four. You're such a dude. Well done. Oh gosh, there's no food left. Um, Well, magic bin. Thank you. And then open up and you can have this. Oh. There you go. I've just realised I've done something that drives me crazy when other people do it, so I'm gonna have to fix it really quickly and I'm sorry. I always get really like, why would you put a fridge next to a cooker? Doesn't make sense. So I'm fixing it because it doesn't make sense to me. There we go. <laughs> Whew. 
Oh, I can't believe I did that, I'm not even realizing it. And I always hate when people have like the sink right next to the cooker as well. Like this is fine because there's a corner piece, but when they literally have like, there's the cooker and there's the sink, I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense. So I've just done that to appease my own brain. But yeah, look at our little house. It's all gravy. It's all good. This is going to be a slightly longer episode than I planned. I will try to edit some things out. Um, yes, very long episodes, 50 minutes right now. So I definitely have to edit some things out and I'm going to get you to quickly do the makeover and then I will definitely stop <laughs> and stop saying definitely. Oh, Kara, she is a cat person. So I gave her the cute little dress dress cute little skirt with cats on and she has like the cat shoes and the little cat necklace i gave her glasses because i don't know it seemed to fit the writer thing which i know sounds really weird but i just quite like that idea that aesthetic in my mind i wear glasses too so it's not like i'm meaning to stereotype in an offensive way um and i made lots of her outfits blue themed uh this is the top from i think laundry day stuff yeah that's a laundry day t-shirt tied at the side also in blue and then she has, oops, she has her formal wear, blue, which is a season's dress. She has base game um, athletic wear in blue. She has base game pajamas, partially blue. She has this outfit, which again, is that laundry day? Oh no, that's backyard stuff. Um, so she has that little outfit. My phone just vibrated, so sorry if you heard that. And then this random swimsuit because I didn't really pay attention. A lot of these are styled looks because I just got bored towards the end. So the only one I really chose myself was the first one and then the rest I was lazy. But I might change this skirt to the cat one if it's around. No. Because, you know, then it sort of makes sense as if she has like a set number of clothing items because they aren't a super wealthy mm. family. So there we go. She can have the little cat skirt and we'll change the boots to blue, brown, black, black. Yeah, there we go. That's more her. I'm gonna get rid of the makeup as well because I didn't really think that she wore it. She can have her glasses back on though, which were these ones. They were very basic, didn't do much in the way of that. So you can see me putting them on, all the appropriate outfits. No makeup for your child. She looks very like Marcus, which is really weird. Um, you would wear them for athletic because you need to see, and you can have them for formal as well. There we go. So that's Kara all done. We are in the new house. Things have been achieved. I have to edit this down quite a bit because it's reached an hour long, which obviously no one's gonna watch an hour long episode. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like or comment down below. I've been getting a lot of nice comments lately on videos, which has been really cool and makes me feel good. <laughs> so thank you very much for those. I'm trying my best to reply to them all. There's not like tons of them. It's just, I get a bit, oh, why is this called Rory's Challenge House 1? This shouldn't be called that. I'll have to rename that. But um, yeah, I just get a bit anxious sometimes about what to say, which I know is silly, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just how I am. You can clean that out and then you can go sleep there. Um, but I will be responding to them. Um, I might have already responded to them before I even post this video. Who knows? Uh, you do, if you're the person who commented and get a response. Um, but I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Be kind. Bye-bye.